This is Pastor Bong Soriano of COP Hawaii filling in for Pastor Sarmal today. As we start our week, I would like to encourage you for our devotional thought reading from the Old Testament written by the prophet Joel in chapter 2. And today I would like to encourage you two great promises of God here in chapter 2. First promise is the Lord's promise for restoration. Let me remind you that here in this context, before we read the scripture, that this is after God called his people into repentance. And now that they have the right standing with God and a great good relationship with the Lord, then he promised this. So let me just read with you in verses 18 to 21. Then the Lord will pity his people and jealousy guard the honor of his land. The Lord will reply, Look, I am sending you grain and new wine and olive oil, enough to satisfy your needs. You will no longer be an object of mockery among the surrounding nations. I will drive away these armies from the north. I will send them into the parched wastelands. Those in the front will be driven into the Dead Sea and those at the rear into the Mediterranean. The stench of their rotting bodies will rise over the land. Surely the Lord has done great things. Do not be afraid, O land. Be glad now and rejoice, for the Lord has done great things. So you see, God is faithful, brothers and sisters. God is reminding us not to be afraid. And for all you know, the promises of God has started to be fulfilled. This year, we have seen great things that have happened into our lives as members of our church. You see a lot of uh, testimonies that has been uh, shared by all of our members of restoration. And God will continue to do this. There is a great promise here for the restoration. And why does God will do this to us? Because we have a faithful God. So you see, he, he told us here that for the Lord has done great things. And the blessings that he sent demonstrates his faithfulness. So brothers and sisters, we have a faithful God. And what he was saying in here in verse 25, he was saying, I will give you back what you lost. For many of us, during these two and a half years of pandemic, many of us lost uh, our loved ones due to COVID and many of us lost our jobs, many of us lost our businesses. And we've been very anxious how God could help us once again to stand up. And once again, how can we be able to build our businesses? You see, gearing towards this 2023, this will be a year of restoration. As we will continue to see the faithfulness of the Lord, and as he has promised in verse 27, then you will know that I am among my people. He is with us, you know, brothers and sisters, and he will never leave us and forsake us. Amen. That's a, one of the first two great promises that I would like to share with you. And the second one is that the Lord's promise of the outpouring of his spirit. Let's read verse 28 and 29. Then after doing all those things, I will pour out my spirit upon all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams and your young men will see visions. In those days, I will pour out my spirit even on servants, men and women alike. Isn't that exciting? After all, he said that after all the promise of restoration and after all these things that's happening, that God is restoring everything that we have lost and enjoying all the blessings, he then said also one of the great promises is the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. You see, as I remember in the mid-90s, I think that was in 1995, we're in God, in his mercy and in his compassion, uh, pour out his spirit among us as his people in the church. And at the same time, looking back, we are all in the same scenario. At the time was um, uh, uh, started for the, great, for the construction and we were in, in great debt because of the construction. 
it seems to be hard. And we were starting also to do evangelism, but you know, it was um, hard because of the construction and finance and finances and all those stuff. But you see, when there was this great outpouring of the Holy Spirit, we were just amazed of how uh, good God is because we were debt free and God has blessed his people. And we have then been able to do a lot of evangelism and sharing the gospel because of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Once again, we have started a great project that God has given to us as a church in uh, in the vision of uh, altars of earth, the vision of renovation, the vision of building our Bay 7 and school building in South Campus, building altar of earth in the provinces and other uh, campuses and branches that we have. Great crusades are coming ahead of us in 2023. And, you know, we could not do all these things without the power of the Holy Spirit. So, brothers and sisters, as we are spending more time in prayer these days, let us pray for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Because even Jesus uh, asked, uh, told the disciples not to go out yet until the, you know, until the great promises fulfilled the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Because he knew that great task ahead of the disciples for evangelizing the whole world. It's the same thing with us. Let's just pray, especially that we have a new generation generation of young people uh, going, being called and share the, evangel share the gospel towards his evangelism. We can be able to do great things for God, for the kingdom of God, because of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray for that promise to, full, to be fulfilled again in our generation.